Hello, me gente. Welcome to Kiss My Crafts. Um, hope everybody is well and staying safe. Um, to those that live in areas that have reopened, please continue to stay safe and take precautions. I know the weather is getting nice in a lot of areas in the U.S. and um. We still got to um, be mindful that this thing hasn't ended. Okay, well, got that out of the way, but I hope everybody's good. Um, I've, I think this, I, I'm not totally isolated because I do go to the supermarket. Um, and sometimes I sit outside in the front. There's a small bench on the porch. But, um... <sighs> I need to do something different. (laughs) I'm tired. I'm tired of the same places and the same thing day in and day out. Um, So I just dropped one. So I let me show you something. Um, The other I don't know if you guys caught Mindy's video the other day. Isolation purchases or something like that. I had done some too, and I bought non-diamond painted related crafts um, that I haven't opened yet. I just opened the Amazon box. So I bought another paint by number. This is the picture. Another Dimensions um, paint works. I love this picture, and I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful, and it doesn't look extremely hard. (laughs) Um, I'm having trouble with the beach one a little bit, but I'm going to persevere because that's going to be my practice one. Um, But this, I I love this. Isn't that pretty? I'm sorry for the glare, but until I get better lighting, which I've been saying for the past year, (laughs) I have to deal with it. Or else everything's gonna look yellowish. Um, so yeah, I'm look. I want. I want to start it, but I'm not. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna still practice with the beach one that I showed you guys, if you watched. And then I got something that I haven't got in a long time. Well, one of the, of this kind is the first time I ever got it. Um, one of these, and um, but I haven't bought a coloring book. Ooh. Whoa, I almost dropped the whole tray of drills. I haven't bought a coloring book in a while, but this one is different because it is a color by number. <clears throat> Mindy, check this out. Country scenes. But I had this on my Amazon wish list for the longest. Look how cute. So it's a color by number. And what I like about it. What I like about it is it tells you what colors to use, but you don't have to stick to exact. Maybe it'll give you ideas for colors and then you follow the outlines and this will help you with um, actually coloring. But what I plan to do, okay, so these are, they have a color key. I'm sorry, I I have my cell phone positioned for the whip and chat and So you guys can see this. I wasn't really prepared to show you all this. This was gonna be a separate unboxing, but hey, it is what it is. So the color list is on the inside cover and then it shows you all the different scenes in this book. And what I love about it is that, if you want me to do a flip through on a separate video, put it in the comments. If not, there's probably definitely flip throughs. There are they're one-sided pages, so I can use whatever media as long as I put a page in between this one. You know, if I'm working on this on one, I would put a, a, a scrap paper behind it, something that can hold a little bit of wetness, and I'd use different media on here. Acrylic paint, marker, water brush paint, pens, watercolor. You know, you just have to be mindful of the amount of liquid, especially if you're using watercolor. Um, these pages are not very thin. They're pretty decent. They're not the thickest. Um, if you're into coloring, they're not Hannah Carlson. They're not um, even Joanna Basford. They're they're a little thinner, but they're much better than the that um, independent publishing people. 
So this is Country Scenes by Creative Haven. Creative Haven has a lot of very nice books. They they range from like $4, $5, all the way to maybe 12 or 13. This was, I forgot how much this was. This was like $12 or, um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Something was 10, something was almost 13 so either <laughs> I'm not sure but I can link these down below these this is really really nice I like I didn't expect the pages to be um this kind of quality it's not the best quality but they're pretty decent they're very smooth um I would gesso the pages with clear gesso don't do the white gesso yeah, this is going to be fun. Look how cute these are. I might do a flip through for you because I have a Joanna Basford one that I have yet to open. And I got it a while ago, a long while ago. And I want to I wanna do, an um, uh, what do you call one of those things? A flip through of it. Okay, so welcome to the Melodies of May. <laughs> I talk too much. I think this is going to be a long video because I'm chatty. I'm bored. I have no one to talk to. I can't talk to my dad because he says, huh? Who? What? Every time you talk to him because he don't hear well. And he has a hearing aid that he refuses to use because he says he hears too much. <laughs> so this is Melody for Melodies of May that I'm doing with Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment and Kara from the principal painter and it ends this week. This is the last whipping chat and I feel a little bit um, emotional because I got attached to Melody. She worked up way too quick. I, she didn't give me time to get tired of her. I did get a little burnt out working on her. I hope I'm not talking too fast. I, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> um, she worked up pretty fast. So I took a few days off. I worked on something else. I did start the Santorini. I couldn't help myself. It's such a gorgeous canvas that I just couldn't help myself. So I'm almost done with like one one row what I call a row is the width of the, this paper across so I lay these down this is this is the width of the area that I will work on across the canvas so I did almost one row um, so it ends this week um, I'm not sure of the specifics, but we're going to do a special finale, a nice event. Um, stay, keep watching and stay tuned. I'm not, I don't have the specifics because this is going up on Thursday, but it's actually Monday Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day in honor of all, um, the, um, people that have lost their lives for the, our country. Um, everybody should have given at least a moment of silence, a little prayer, um, and, uh, well, happy Memorial Day. And thank you to those that lost their lives. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're giving out three, three prizes. If this is your first time watching of any of the melodies of May, then you don't know. I have to tell you, <laughs> you have to comment on the video. That's how you get an entry. And for each video that you comment on, whether it's mine, Mindy's or Kara's or all three of us is another entry, not multiple entries in one video. No, not multiple comments, only one. We're going to number each comment, each person. Um, so you might come up on the list four times or you might come up on each of our lists twice, you know, depending on who video you comment and, and how many of the videos you comment on. And that gets you an entry into the giveaway. And there's going to be three prizes because we're each giving something. I already decided what I was going to get. It's on the way. I should have it by Wednesday. Um, and it's, um, I, I had such a hard time choosing. Originally I was going to give Red Riding Hood. Let me, let me do some diamond painting right <laughs> I was gonna give away little red riding hood um but when I saw her I was like oh hell no <laughs> and then they came out with another Hannah Lynn which I did not buy by the way um and I thought of that one but I knew that once I saw her I was gonna want to keep it and I, I I can't be shopping like this okay um so I bought something that's neutral 
it's just a pretty scene um I don't know if I'm going to unbox it. I would leave it intact, but you know, I want to see it. <laughs> I promise I'm not going to keep it. If I love it that much and it's still available, I'll get it for myself. And if it's not available, then I'll sign up for an in stock alert email or something. You know what I mean? This is the price. This is what is going to be. So um, either I unbox it or not. If I unbox it or not, um, you'll know what it is when we do our finale. Um, I mean, if I unbox it, you'll know beforehand. But if I don't, then you'll find out. I'll show it um, during the finale of Melodies of May. Okay, so comment, whatever. I might ask you a question. You don't have to answer any questions. You know, that's not one of those. It's just a comment. And as long as it's not rude, because if it's rude, I'm going to delete it and block your ass. <laughs> so I've been having so much fun. That's why it's kind of sad for me to finish this event because um, it's been a blast get going through um, my memory bank to think of stuff from back then, from the 70s, late 60s, you know, 70s. Mostly 70s for me because in the late 60s, I was, you know, pretty little. I was born in 66, so I do remember some stuff, um, but it, not enough really to actually tell stories about. Um, oh, but before I start getting into all that and before I forget, you see, I always forget. Um, there's a young lady that I met the other day. She made a comment on my, one of my videos. And when someone that I'm, I don't recognize comment on my videos, I check to see if they have a channel. Um, and when I go through the comments that I'm, forgive me for, before all that, but forgive me for taking so long commenting. Um, I try to set aside some time so I can comment on everyone's comment. Um, and by the time I do, there's even more comments. Um, so it takes me a while to, to get back to commenting on everyone's, you know, and I, I do appreciate it. And I love the comments. You guys rock. I swear you guys rock. You guys, um, really, really make me, um, happy that I started this channel. Okay, so with that being said, this young lady, um, so I checked to see, you know, checked her profile because if she has a channel, I'll check, you know, I check them out, see if it's something that's for me, and then I'll subscribe. Um, so she happens to have a channel, and she just started not long ago, and I watched the very first one that she that she made. I like to go from um, the first to the last when I find someone new. Um, I try to. I'm having a hard time catching up on videos you know there's a lot of people i like to watch and i'm having a really hard time <laughs> um getting some time just to do it um but i think i'm gonna you know just set a couple hours a day or so while i'm diamond paint whenever i diamond paint i'll just stick to youtube channels rather than tv or you know anything else um maybe an hour of them or whatever anyway so check check out this young lady i will link her down below go show her some love if you like her subscribe like her videos um and her name is it's cool too abigail marie 007 <laughs> so i could picture her saying my name is marie abigail marie <laughs> So check it out. She's adorable. She kind of reminds me of um, my uh, subscriber turned soul sister, Whitney. You know, adorable in that type of sense because Whitney doesn't know it, but she's adorable. Um, yeah, except, you know, Abigail doesn't have that Southern accent that Whitney has. That's, that's one difference. And, you know, I don't know what Abigail looks like aside from her cool hands and her pretty nails. Um... I don't know if they resemble each other. It's just something about her personality reminded me of Whitney. Um, except for, like I said, um, Whitney has, I think Whitney, Whitney was, oh God, was born in Kentucky, but currently resides um, in another state. 
in the South. And she has the most cutest accent. And I'm a sucker for accents. I love accents and I love Southern accents. And growing up, I didn't think that Southern accents differed from state to state. Because, you know, you don't know those kind of facts. So I have nieces and nephew and a nephew in Kentucky, you know, and I hear them talking. And then I have um, people that are from, that I know from Georgia. It's, it's, they sound different. It's a Southern accent, but they sound different. I went to Texas a couple of times and I kind of, I'm the type of person that I, everything, I sponge in everything. I'm like a sponge. I soak everything up and I will soak up an accent and sound like the person that I'm hanging out with. (laughs) I came home talking about, can I have some water? (laughs) And I caught myself. I said, what the hell? I only spent like a week and a day or so there. Interesting. I also like British and Australian accents. Just love them. So when I was in Texas, I came back home. <laughs> I was kind of, I kind of, you know, caught the accent a little bit. I had to shake from that. Yeah, I like Texas. My, I have a cousin that lives in Dallas, but I was in Fort Worth visiting friends. And um, I liked it. I did like it. I liked the quiet, my friend's mother. She looked at a property and this property was like, I think it was a quarter of an acre. And it had a house and it had a garage with an apartment on top. And it was nice and it was it was really nice and it was a big nice decent sized house i live in new york we don't have too many properties that have a quarter acre in new york city you know what i mean or or half an acre or anything like that um people are pretty in close proximity to each other even in the private houses um there are areas where the houses are bigger and there are might be more space on the property but you're not gonna have you know well, in Staten Island and Queens, that might be the case depending on where you live because they, they, those some of those houses do have big properties. Um, but they back then, um, they wanted 80000 and I thought that was freaking amazing. And my friend's mother was like, that's too much. Um, but I like Texas. It's just everybody kept saying I had an accent. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't have an accent. You have an accent. <laughs> this one dude, it was my friend's friend. Um, when I was at my friend's mother's house, this friend came by. And they left me alone with him because they went out to see something about the mother's car. So they left me alone with him, right? Now, his accent was pretty heavy, so I couldn't understand the whole lot. <laughs> and he he's looking at me like, but I could see, I was like, okay, he's going to say something stupid. So he's looking at me, and he, you could tell his mind is working up the nerve to, to ask whatever it is or to say whatever it is he's going to say. So he goes, <clears throat> you some kind of engine? And I said, huh? <laughs> he repeats you some kind of engine? I said, an engine? What you mean, some kind of engine? <laughs> and then he says it again, so he does it a little more clearly, and he, he pronounces that D that I needed to hear to understand he was talking about Indian. I looked at him, I was like, no, not Indian. And he stares at me, so I go, I'm Puerto Rican. He goes, oh, you from Puerto Rico? <laughs> mm, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so I was like, I'm a smart ass. I was like, no, my family's from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is somewhere else. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but that was my experience. And then I met the grandfather. And the grandfather was like, oh, you from New York? And I'm like, mm-hmm. He was like, you mighty nice to be from New York. And I was like, they got nice people in New York. But, you know, other than that, it was it was, it was was okay. I, I actually liked it. Um, it's just too hot in the summer. I can't, I can't deal with that. It's a different type of heat. 
you know, it's a, I guess you would call it a dry heat, but when my son and I landed, it was 115 degrees. We went to the Fort Worth Zoo, it was 115 degrees. But yeah, I, I, we got stared at a lot. I guess people were wondering, you know, what who we were, where we were from. We didn't look like the typical Latinos in the area. And so we got stared at everywhere we went. It was weird. Um, but people were really nice. People were really actually really nice. Very friendly, very courteous. We just got stared at a lot. Anyway, I don't even know why I got into all that. What was I talking about first? <laughs> oh, accents. And okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because a lot of people, I go to a different state, they say I have an accent. But me, I don't hear it. I hear everybody else's accent. But I guess that's the norm for anyone, you know. It was like British people don't think they have an accent. But for us, they do. We have an accent to them. They can imitate our accent like we can imitate theirs. But I love me a British accent, you know. It, it, they sound so nice. It's just, I love the way it sounds. And the, the Aussies, I love the way the Aussies sound. But anyway, let's go back in time for a little bit because that's what my whole mission for this video is to talk about back in the day because we're doing a hippie fairy from the late 60s and 70s um and so i want to skip to the theme and i i didn't finish saying one of the things i loved about this event is it we stuck to a theme of the 70s and that was fun that was fun you know i looked up stuff to give myself a little bit of a refresher um of things i wanted to talk about looking up the pictures um, that that w it was all so much fun and it, you know stay tuned at the end of this video because I will have a slideshow for you guys um, just random stuff from that era that I may not have mentioned or remembered after the fact or maybe someone else mentioned um, that needed to have um, some kind of recognition because uh, I remember them well um, so I remember a lot of news events and as a child the political ones didn't interest me um, I remember Nixon being president and being in the paper all the time and you know when he resigned all that stuff was big deal for me it wasn't what was big deals and what did affect me and what did not so much as interest me but made me scared <laughs> were the you know crime stories and one that I remember, remember really well is the time of Son of Sam. And hold on, I need to drink a little bit. For those that don't remember or may not have heard about it because he, because he, I don't know if it was nationwide news. I was a kid. It was 1976. It had to be 1976 because I remember distinctly well the apartment that we were living in. Um, I was in the fifth grade. Yeah, I had to be in the fifth grade. Yeah. So, um, or I just finished the fifth grade. That's that's exactly what it was. I just finished the fifth grade because it was summertime. No, 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 because the school was still on because I remember walking home from school and being scared that Son of Sam was going to get me. You know, Son of Sam, for those that don't know, was a serial killer that randomly killed people, shot them dead. Um, and he was a mystery for almost like about a year. Um, and at first he was the 44 caliber killer. Boy, was I scared that Son of Sam was gonna get me because um, the he killed mostly women, young women. And most of them, the majority of them had dark hair. It seemed to be his M.O. And so, of course, this opened the opportunity for my brothers to taunt me <laughs> and tell me that Son of Sam was going to get me because I had dark brown hair. 
So walking home from school, at that time, I was already walking home by myself. Um, walking home was, from school was scary. The night was scary. I wanted my mom to cut my hair because I had long hair. And um, it wasn't the darkest brown, but I have, I'm a brunette. I have brown hair. Well, for right now, I have like four inches of gray root. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I would lay awake at night and any little noise that I heard, I saw it was Son of Sam coming to shoot me. I didn't pay attention that he would walk up to people outside. I didn't pay attention to that. I paid attention to he shot women with dark brown hair. And mind you, I was not a woman yet. I was a child. <laughs> but to me, he, I, would, I fit. I fit what he killed. (laughs) So yeah, that was a crazy, that was crazy. He terrorized New York for about a year. Um, I think he was a postal worker. And so the bizarre thing was that he got, somehow he got caught through careless, his own carelessness. I mean, he was writing letters to the police and to some news reporters, I guess. Yeah, he, I think he wrote letters to news reporters and saying he was a monster. You know, all this I remember because I would read the paper. There was always a paper in my house. My father read the paper religiously and he read three different papers, two, two English ones and one Spanish one. Sometimes he had two Spanish ones. Um, so anyway, they finally caught him. And what he told the police was that his neighbor's dog, and this is where the name Son of Sam comes from, because he was the 44 caliber killer first. And um, his neighbor's name was Sam, and Sam had a dog. And the guy's name, the, the serial killer, his name was David Berkowitz. And David Berkowitz said this dog gave him issued him um, commands or gave him commands to kill people and that's why he killed people the dog was possessed and and he just had to do what this dog said because the dog was the 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 owner of the dog was evil satan or whatever they, you know they had they must have had issues but everybody that talked about david berkowitz was surprised that he did this because they said he was basically quiet he didn't bother nobody blah 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 but that's usually the case ain't it Serial killer is not boisterous, is not going to get, bring attention to himself. You know what I mean? They're usually quiet. Um, okay, this color is done. So yeah, I remember that was one of the new, big news things that affected me. And the year that they caught him, I think it was either the winter before they caught him or the winter after, I'm not sure. Um, we had, uh major blizzard in that time in that air in that time frame within those like 1976 77 78 you know we had a major blizzard we had um in the summer we had a major blackout i remember the blackout we 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 lived in an apartment on the fourth floor so it was three long staircases to climb up and I remember distinctly, we I was watching Beretta. Do you remember Beretta? Don't go to bed with no price on your head. No, don't do it. Don't do the crime. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I was getting into it. I used to love that theme song. Um, so I was watching Beretta and everything started you know, blinking and all the lights went out, but we were used to that because the building had fuses that used to blow out all the time. Um, but no, come to find out, it was it was a blackout. It was, my brothers wanted to go out, my mother didn't let them, you know. Um, I don't remember if my father was home or if he was working because it was, Beretta was on like at eight, nine o'clock at night. Um, so, okay, let me see what I'm gonna do next. So yeah, I remember that. They, there was so much looting. Oh, I do have that AB, I do do this one in AB. There was a lot of looting, a lot of a lot of shit happened during that blackout. You know, New York people tell us say New York is 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 
is is crazy. Not now. New York has calmed down a significant amount. Because back in the day in the 70s, no, I, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have recommended it for a tourist. Even me being a child, it was, New York was dirty. New York had, was crime ridden. New York had a lot of corruption. Not that there isn't any now, but I mean, I mean, it was it was really bad. A lot of neighborhoods were burnt out, empty buildings, you know, so it was bad back then so people not that people wouldn't loot now but i don't think to the extent that they did it back then you know we have a blackout now certain neighborhoods they're not gonna loot back then all the neighborhoods all the neighborhoods were looting but so my mom didn't let my brothers they were like you're not going out nowhere i don't know what oh this looks pretty look at that love it um so yeah and the blizzard the blizzard for us was fun because you know we were home from school you know we didn't have to go to school that day and my brother and i we used to like climbing where when the people shoveled their snow you know it always got left by the curb in big mounds to us that was mountains we used to go say let's go climb the mountains because we didn't have a yard to play in uh, make snowmen no we couldn't do that so we used to go climb the mountains in the little snow mountains <clears throat> and i remember two celebrity deaths that really really affected me and made me sad and one was elvis presley we were elvis we grew up with my mom was an elvis presley fan so she used to watch the movies so therefore we were subjected to watching them but they were so they were happy movies and they had nice music um so i loved elvis music i loved elvis movies i watched them all as a child i don't know if i could sit through one now but yeah viva las vegas and um jailhouse rock but one of my favorites and i might be if it came on like american movie classics or the movie channel whatever um love me tender which was one of i think his first movies and he played um it was a drama and he played a cowboy it wasn't a musical i would watch that again it was good and that's where he you know he sang that song love me tender and it's one of my favorite elvis presley songs and of course i know all the words to it <laughs> Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfilled. For my darling, I love you, and I always will. <laughs> I probably just lost two subscribers. <laughs> somebody or some of you turned this shit off but no i'm just kidding i know you love me <laughs> oh my goodness but yeah elvis presley when they said he died and i can remember it came on the radio um we were sad we were very sad but um by that time i mean we were fans of his movies when he was, you know, his movies, he was young. Um, he looked a hot mess when he died, you know, he didn't look good, you know, drugs and alcohol, all that shit fucks you up. But I loved a lot of his songs. And another death that affected me that I remember clearly was Freddie Prince. Freddie Prince was an actor on, a Latino actor on the show. He was on a show called Chico and the Man, and I loved that show. And I think it only lasted like one or two seasons, if I remember correctly. It wasn't a long running show, um, but I, I must have seen the reruns over and over. As long as they played them, I watched that show. Um, and then, you know, they just took it off the air. That I guess it wasn't popular enough to run for years and years you know like some other of these old shows but yeah he, he when i saw it in the paper that he died I, I was sad i was sad because this is somebody that i watched and was a fan of you know he committed suicide 
I guess he was depressed. You know, that's, you know, that's the stuff that they mentioned in the paper. And I wasn't a big, you know, I wasn't a big paper reader. I liked the Sunday comics. And the Sunday comics are not what they used to do. They even have comics anymore in the Sunday paper. I don't know because I don't, I don't really read the paper anymore. Um, I need to get some sticky wax. It's been a while. This stuff pretty it lasts it lasts for me and I like it. I haven't used anything else in my in my, in my single placer. Now, <clears throat> okay. I'll have some maybe some residue for a little bit, but once it gets pushed in there, hold on. I'm gonna. I like to push it in, then clean the sides. Push it in again. You know, I push it down and then the excess gets around it and you just, you know, clean it off. And so it's nice and it's nice and in there now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, headlines, headlines, headlines from the 70s. Things that I remember. Yeah, the Sunday comics back then were the bomb, man. They, I love the Sunday comics. So, you know, they always had the headlines. So you get to see the headlines when you go read the comics. And so some things, you know, caught my eye and I would read. Um, but if it had to do with politics, I really didn't care. You know, I was a kid. I didn't understand Watergate. And um, I know that it was serious that the president resigned. I knew that. Um, and then I think it was Ford that took over after Nixon resigned. I remember a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of it took up most, a lot of the paper, the newspaper. Um, since my father at, at a certain point had a business, um, on Sundays, we used to love going to work with him, but... He got up at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> um, to prepare whatever he was going to prepare. Sunday mornings were very heavy. Everybody came in for breakfast. You know, it was like a neighborhood luncheonette. Um, the Sunday paper had to be prepared and put together because it came in different parts. And that's what we would do, me and my brother. My, you know, sometimes he would take my brother. Sometimes he would take me. And it wasn't all the time because that was pretty early to, for us to get up. Like, when I would I would beg him, please take, wake me up in the morning so I could go downstairs with you. Because the, the business was downstairs from where, you know, on the block from where we lived. Um, and, you know, we used to beg and plead and be like, okay, okay, okay. Let's see, what color am I going to do next? We're 25. Hmm. <clears throat> So I don't have much to go on melting. Just let me see if you can see from here. Okay, so right here is where this one ends. So all this strip to the end of the canvas and this little area here that I neglected to do. I don't know why. And then I'm done. I should be done by the finale. But um, so yeah, we used to like go put the paper together. So a lot of times you end up reading because you, you, something catches your eye. But that would be fun. That would be fun. It was just, a, a, I would beg him and beg him, and then when he'd wake me up, I'd be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I would go because he was like, no, you ask, you beg, and you're going. You know, like kind of a punishment. Like, you're not going to, you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. <laughs> I guess a lesson. You know, that was a lesson. Um, but once you woke up, you woke up. You know, and, and it was fun for me because there was nobody in there. We had the whole store to ourselves, and we put the I put the paper together. I'd fill up ketchup bottles. I'd fill up salt and pepper bottles. Um, this doesn't belong here. Oh shit! I missed a whole bunch of that other symbol I was working on. That one doesn't belong there. <clears throat> I'll get back to it. Isn't this pretty too? This is not an AB. This is a regular drill, but... Oh, there's a purple... There's a couple of purple ones in there. I'll leave them in there because I get rid of the drills anyway. I just be careful not to pick it up. Um... We used to sometimes even serve 
coffee to the customers he'd let us serve coffee which was hard to balance <laughs> always spilled um you know i'm talking about i was seven eight years old but we did learn a lot and we ate a lot that's where i got i gained a lot of weight because you know we had i think we ate all my dad's profits <laughs> we had i i enjoyed the ice cream cones and the chocolate shakes and he then he also had candy you know and i used to, i didn't care about the food for me it was the junk and the goodies uh, my brother he could, he liked the food every every day my father had a different special <laughs> and um my brother would be what's today's special dad and my father would tell him he's like oh can i try it <laughs> But he was a chunk from the time he was born. Now he's not. He's a thin he's a thin guy. He barely eats. He eats like a bird. He doesn't want to gain weight cuz he did he's always been heavy most of his life and um when he was married and living in Kentucky, he got really really big and it was really not good for him. It, it was just it was unhealthy um how big he got. Um, and he came here, by the time he got here, he had lost weight already, you know, he's, but he still had some weight on him, you know, cause we look at pictures compared to what he was when he got here, we thought he was thin once he, when he got here, I was like, oh, you've lost weight, you know, cause the pictures that he would send us back then, it was printed pictures. You could see how heavy he was. Um, why am I talking about my brother? <laughs> anyway. This is the same one that used to blow into Baby Alive's mouth <laughs> to make the crap come out. <laughs> we were the closest in age, so I guess um, a lot of my childhood experiences were with him because we were each other's playmates indoors, you know, even though we used to fight a lot. Um, but what was I saying about him originally that led me to talk about his weight? I don't remember. Anyway, probably wasn't important. And probably, I probably strayed from what I was originally talking about, which I always do. Um, I wish I could see a script <laughs> so I could go back. <laughs> I could always stop, rewind. You know, it, it, that's too much work. <laughs> I'll just move on. Maybe I'll remember later. Um, so, yeah. Um, this trip down memory lane with these videos is a lot of fun. And I wanna, I'm going to, you know, kind of cut this now. I talked a lot today. Um, this was a lot of fun. And I'm glad of those that joined us. A lot of, Some of you did Melody. Some of you um, tagged us with your projects on Instagram, which was awesome. I enjoyed your comments. I enjoyed working with Kara and Mindy. Um, June, I'm going to be solo. I'm just going to catch up on some whips because I have too many. I counted nine that are active that I would work on at any given time. That's too much. That's ridiculous. You know, way ridiculous. Do you have anybody out there have that many whips? I hope I'm not the only one. Please, somebody out there, tell me that they have that many whips. Let me see. Can you see this here? Let me move this closer. You know, this back and shake you up a little bit and move this closer where am i okay i'm i'm sure you hear my neighbor's music i'm so sorry um it's not as loud as it would normally be when they turn it on oops i'm sorry i'm shaking y'all up I just don't want the table against what I have uh, my lazy arm on. Because if I move the table and it's leaning against what the lazy arm is on, then it shakes the camera. But I'm gonna shake you again. I'm sorry, I have to move it more back. I should have just paused and fixed it and then did it. <laughs> Live TV, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, and thank you for the comments. Thank you for the tags on Instagram. Um, and please, 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 please look out for the finale. It's I think it's going to be Sunday or I'm not sure. Somebody's going to announce it in their video. <laughs> Because Kara's going to put her video up on Tuesday. 
um, Mindy puts hers on Wednesday and you're watching this on Thursday, even though I recorded on Monday. Um, so originally planned was for Sunday, May 31st. So I'm, I keep picking up too many. Do you see how I do this? Okay. I put two there. Watch it fuck up now. <laughs> Being a smart, hold on a second. I got to grab two more. Okay. Okay, see, I got two and two. Wait, did that focus? I mean, you can see what it is, right? So I'm gonna put two down here and two down there. One didn't lie, but that's what I do. When I have all these little single ones, like, let me see, let me find some. I don't find none now. Okay. Um, I, do you see where I'm pointing? Nope, you do not see where I'm pointing. I'm gonna move this. Okay, so I have a lot of single ones here. As a matter of fact, let me get that symbol. Oh, it's um 907. Since I'm finishing this up, I'm gonna put this away from this color away for a second, and I'm gonna show you something I do with the multi placer. And I think it's a little bit of a time saver. You might have to sometimes adjust, but I'm used to doing adjustments because I use a multi-placer all the time and I don't always get it perfect or I, my hand gets hit. I hit my hand on something and it jerks the um, pen and things get all crooked. <laughs> but um, where is 907? This is her hair, right? Yeah, it's her hair. Pero en donde esta, coño? It is out of order. Oh, it's right in front of my face. So we're going to use this AB. And then I'm going to show you something that I do with my multi with my pen in period. Oops. Am I still recording? <laughs> yeah. I oh, am. Yeah. That'd be a shame. I did that the other not too long ago i recorded about a half an hour and i wasn't recording i had it on pause look at that that's um 907 ab isn't that pretty so i put this in her hair not in every single one because i also put um 3819 in her hair which is this one i put this one in her hair and all these I get from Tina Bernie. Diamond DP with Sparklers is a website. She finally got a website in case you didn't know. It's dpwithsparklers.com. I will link them down below too. I hope I remember all these links I'm supposed to put down below. Um, but yeah, I got these from her. Aren't they pretty? Oh, now somebody's vacuuming. Okay, anyway. So this is what I do. When I have these little single ones like these it's I, I hate this i hate doing this it, it annoys me i'm so used to the multi-placer that sometimes i'll even take one and place it then i started i watched lucy from star or i think it was and she uses a bigger multi-placer and she'll put three on one end four on the other end and she she's like forget about it she she she's amazing to watch um so i'm not that great and i use a seven placer so you don't have as much room as maybe a 10 or 12 placer so i take one can you see what i'm doing yeah i got one on there already take another one and i also put one on my single tip and then i got that can you see? Yeah. I got that. And that. So to me, it saves a little time. It saves a little bit of that repetition in your wrist. Um, just doing it this way. See? You want me to do it again? Do you want to get closer? Let me see. Oops, I'm going to shake you up. Okay. So, ooh, that looks pretty. Look at that. That looks like a light. You see that? Okay, so take 
What? Now, normally I would work a little faster, but I was just showing you. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> so that's a little trick that I do with my multi-placer. Anyway, gente, thank you so much for joining us. Um, please join us for our finale. Look up, look up for YouTube because I do not have the specifics, and I'm sorry. Look on YouTube, um, Mindy announcing it maybe because um, uh, it's it's gonna be special, okay? Um, and that's when we're gonna give the the uh, announce the prize winners. And I thank you for joining me. If you watched all the videos, if you watched to the end, thank you so much. You guys rock. I love you guys, and you all take care, stay healthy, okay, and be safe. Besos. Mwah. One more thing, mi gente. Stay tuned and look out. In July, I'm going to have a Christmas in July event that's going to include a prize, a couple of prizes. I already have them. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll be announcing that in future videos. So in order to prepare for that, you got to do a Christmas painting. So go look in your stash to see what you got that's Christmassy and join me for that event. It's my Christmas in July event. 